express one minus i in the polar form. See, you need not get any confusion either polar form or modulus amplitude form, trigonometric form or same only. So, now let us consider this 1 minus i is equal to a plus i b here a is equal to 1 b is equal to minus 1. Let us find out r value root of a square plus b square root of 1 square plus minus 1 square. Am I correct? This is root of 1 plus 1. So, this is equal to root 2, r value is root 2. Now, this 1 minus i is nothing but 1 comma minus 1. Where does 1 comma minus 1 lie? It lies in the fourth quadrant. It lies in fourth quadrant. So, therefore, amplitude theta is equal to minus tan inverse mod of b by a. This is minus tan inverse b stands for here minus 1 by 1 that is minus tan inverse 1 that which is equal to 45 degrees minus pi by 4. Now, we know modulus and amplitude so that we can find out polar form, required form. So, a plus i b is equal to r multiplied by cos theta plus i sin theta. Therefore, 1 minus i is equal to root 2 times cos pi by 4 which is equal to minus and plus i sin of minus pi by 4. So, this equal to root 2 times cos of minus theta plus cos theta. So, cos pi by 4, but it is very important sin of minus theta is minus sin theta. So, minus i sin pi by 4. See once again the polar form of 1 minus i is equal to root 2 times cos pi by 4 minus i sin pi by 4. Could you expect the polar form of 1 plus i? Nothing but it is conjugate only root 2 times cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4. Tenth problem. If z1 is equal to minus 1, z2 is equal to i, find arg arg z1 by z2. So, in order to find out this question, the better first you find out argument of z1, argument of z2, after that we have the formula argument of z1 by z2. What is the argument of z1 by z2? That is nothing but argument of z1 minus argument of z2. So, first here given z1 is equal to minus 1, z2 is equal to i. So, now this z1 can be written as cos pi plus i sin pi, we have discussed. This is cos pi by 2 plus i sin pi by 2, am I correct? 
सो दिस इज द पोलार फॉर्म ऑफ माइनस वन दिस इज द पोलार फॉर्म ऑफ आई हियर एम्पलीट्यूड इज फाइव हियर एम्पलीट्यूड इज फाइव बाई टू सो यू कैन एक्सपेक्ट वॉट इज द एम्पलीट्यूड ऑफ जेड वन फाइव वॉट इज द एम्पलीट्यूड और आर्ग्यूमेंट इज सेम आर्ग्यूमेंट ऑफ जेड टू इज हाउ मच फाइव बाई टू सो दैट मीन्स हियर आर्ग जेड वन इज नथिंग बट थीटा और थीटा वन फाइव आर्ग जेड टू इज फाइव बाई टू सो रिक्वायर्ड टू बी एवेल्युएटेड हियर आर्ग जेड वन बाई जेड टू दिस इज आर्ग्यू जेड वन माइनस आर्ग जेड टू सो आर्ग जेड वन इज पाई माइनस पाई बाई टू दिस इज टू एलसीएम टू पाई माइनस पाई उच इक्वल टू पाई बाई टू आंसर हैज बीन कंप्लीटेड ओके नेक्स्ट प्रॉब्लम If arg z1 bar arg z2 r pi by phi pi by 3 then find then find arg z1 plus arg z2 so generally one may get confusion while solving this problem directly they add these two and they will write the answer but you check it here argument of z1 bar is given not argument of z1 so first argument of z1 you have to find out since argument of z1 bar is pi by phi what will be the argument of z1 that is nothing but minus phi by phi so that's enough now we can solve the problem so here given argument of z1 bar equal to pi by phi and argument of z2 is equal to pi by 3 so argument of z1 required is nothing but minus pi by 5 so we have to find out argument of z1 plus argument of z2 is equal to Minus pi by phi plus phi by three. Just simplification we have to do. Simplification. Let us come to the simplification part. LCM is fifteen phi three ja fifteen and minus three phi plus phi phi. So two pi by fifteen is the required answer. 